Hello and welcome to this tutorial on microchip PIC microcontrollers. Uh, in this tutorial, I hope to give uh, some sight to beginners as well as advanced users of embedded systems design. In these tutorials, I'm also going to be uh, showing what I like to call a, a total package. I'm going to be working uh, with these microcontrollers, showing you the hardware implementation as well as software. Uh, configuration for these. So I'll try to be doing uh, the whole thing from start to finish. I'll try to be uh, putting hardware drawings out and showing you how to actually connect these devices to get different sensors and any other peripheral device. Um, working with the uh, I2C bus, uh, do, uh, interfacing with a PC through the MAX-232 transit chips and all that fun stuff. I'm trying to cover how to hook it up how to program in software the chip, how to use, uh, we'll be using the MP integrated development environment that you can get free off of Microchip's website. Uh, we'll be working with uh, the CCSE compiler. Uh, if those of you that don't know what it is, I'll kind of show it to you. And our first chip, as you can see on the screen right now, we're going to be working with the PIC 16F66 chip, uh, or 6-third, architecturally similar. Uh, those two, those chips, is the ones that we'll be working with in these beginning tutorials. Um, like I said, I'm going to start off as a beginner, so um, that way anyone beginning in this can, you know, get a little bit old on how all this goes together. Um, again, like I said before, we will be using the CCSC compiler. This comes from Custom Computer Services. Uh, the compiler is actually very uh, well programmed. I really, I enjoy it. I use it quite a bit. Um, there's a, there's other ones out there, so you're not strictly you know secluded to one. Um, there's ITSC. I think there, there's I think a demo version of it comes with the MP Lab IDE, so you can use that. I recommend when first beginning with these, I recommend high level language uh, just because of the fact that it makes it easier. Um, and hopefully you've worked with uh, C programming language before, uh, really helps out. You can start with SIMP by all means. If you know assembly, by all means, if you feel comfortable uh, programming in assembly, you can go for it. Except if you guys are anything like the uh, assembly, just it gets a little too tedious for me in the kind of simpler programs that I want to do. Um, Assembly is a kind of lot, lot like you know Linux, Gen 2 Linux. <laughs> if anyone's messed with that, it has loads of functionality. You can pretty much make it do whatever you want, uh, but uh, at the same time, you have to make sure you you really understand. One, you can have to pour over the data sheets uh, and really understand where all the registers are, addresses are, and all the stuff. Make sure you you know get things coded properly. So. I suggest for a beginner, I suggest going with a high level language. It's a lot more straightforward and uh, it's just a little less confusing. So I, go, I work with CCP. It's a very good language. I recommend it. It's, it it's, it's not that expensive either. I believe it's around $100 or $150, something like that. It's not, not too terrible. Uh, but, but again, like I say, the uh, Microchip uh, Integrated Development Environment, or MP Labs DE, comes with, I, I think it's a demo version of the High Tech C, which is a uh, C programming language, it's another compiler, that uh, it comes with, I think, free out of the box. And you can download that all from uh, Chip. Now, um, this is kind of an overview video. We're just going to be outlining what I'll be covering in the um, next video. Uh, what we'll be covering will be, uh, like I said, the hardware, actual implementation, the construction of a parameter, what I like to call the Blink program. Basically, we're going to build a very, very simple circuit. It's going to involve the 676 chip. Um, it's going to involve an LED and some resistors and a voltage regulator and things of that matter. And we're going to basically put this together and just, just very simply write some code that's going to make an LED uh, blink on and off. And again, like I said, we'll be using uh, the CCSC compiler to do this with, and uh, the MP Labs IDE. Um, well, I still got a little bit of time left. Let me kind of shift places to go download these things. If you go to microchip.com, <coughs> you can up here in the search if you need data sheets for the PIC 676 to look at that sheet that I had. You just, you just type it in PIC 16F 676, and look, it pops right up. You just click on it, takes you right to it, 
click 676 and then it's pretty much going to give you the web page on it that tells you everything about it it's got you know 64 bytes of ram it's got 128 bytes of eeprom it's got you know cpu speed you know five mips it's got all that information on there but it's coming here to data sheet and give that a tap you're going to get basically the same sheet that i had that i was showing you earlier in this presentation so that's where you get your data sheets very simple uh, let's kind of run back here. Come back here, and you want the MPLAB IDE. It's right there, right on the front page under Design. You want IDE. It's going to come up and give you some information about the integrated development environment. And right down here at the bottom, you're going to see the IDE 8.6 through what they're up to. And always, you know, I, I they update this virtually every week it almost seems they, they updated a lot so um, I have an older version of it it works great um, but you know nevertheless you could come back you know check it once in a while and upgrade this one but there's your package which you're gonna do you're gonna click on that and you're gonna you're gonna download that and as of right now uh, that's kinda where we're at for this video I'm going to uh, be posting the next video right after this one we'll actually get started with some some work on this so hope everybody is uh, excited about this I know I am and we'll continue on with the next video thank you